Hello, and welcome back to Dicebreaker. Uh, Johnny, And just can you say something so I know which channel you're coming through, because I just realised you're muted. Uh, good question. How about this one? Now talk. Um, Yay, uh, there's Johnny. All right, why sweet. Why does it say we're painting Beast Claw Raiders wheels? Oh, what? Oh, for God's sake, OBS. <laughs> it's be I'll tell you why. It's because it crashed halfway through me doing stuff, so there we are. Ah. Well, here we are. Welcome back to... Do you know what, John? Did you want to do the intro whilst I saw that? <laughs> yeah. Um, welcome back to uh, Dicebreaker. We are doing uh, a live stream to play Thousand Year Old Vampire, which is sort of ordinarily a single-player journaling uh, game, but we are um, uh, playing it not only together, but with you, the audience, because this is a game where you generate prompts and use those prompts to write down sort of memories and recollections of your life as a vampire, as you, um, you you sort of just live out an entire millennium. Um, so yeah, uh, basically we're going to generate prompts. Uh, you at home are going to uh, tell us what you think w the prompt should mean, and then we're going to write an entry, and the other person's going to read it out. We'll sort of take it in turns. We have already done one session of this, so if you've missed it, mm -hmm. um, we've got some uh, catching up for you to do. But all in all, you shouldn't worry. Because Wheels is going to outline sort of what state our vampire is in right now, yeah, and then we'll go, uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Yeah, we've also got a link to the doc which we're using. Uh, so me and Johnny are both writing into a Google Doc, as you can see me flicking through it here on the stream. Um, so this is basically the memories that our vampire has. Um, we can only keep so many of them because humans are fragile and and mushy and they lose things very easily uh so eventually our brain will start to deteriorate and there's only so much we can hold at once um but you guys have the benefit of not being a thousand year old vampire so you can read through all of it at your behest and also anything that we have forgotten as a character has been scored out um so you can see that we've got stuff that has like got a line through it that means that although it's although it was still true we've forgotten about it as a character but to catch you up um we are currently in Egypt. <laughs> yes. So, um, so we are Isadora. Isadora is uh, a marauder of the Cyclades, or was rather, a marauder of the Cyclades archipelago and dreaded Grecian pirate. Um, we had a fearless crew. Uh, we went around and we captured uh, very important men and sent them home with their tails between their legs for a ransom. Um, we captained a ship entirely full of badass women. Uh, it was all very cool until we struck a deal with a devil, um, and we met, uh, Hippathios, was it? I believe so. Hippathios, uh, the most feared death dealer of the Aegean and captain of the Broken Skull, who was very handsome. Uh, and unfortunately he gave us the eternal curse of the night and we became a vampire. Um, we also met a few other vampires along the way, including Medea the Cunning, who swindled us out of our ship, uh, and Cicero, who uh, actually took us to Egypt, uh, where we currently reside. But all of our human friends are dead, so, <laughs> so don't worry about any of those, uh, which is a shame, because they were all very handsome and beautiful. Um, we currently have the Ear of the, Ther of the Pharaoh, sorry, we've got uh, plenty of skills that we've learned along the way. Uh, and because we're a vampire, when we have particularly bad wounds, they don't really heal. So included in our marks, which are essentially like our sort of um, arcane wounds, uh, our arm, which got chopped off, still seeks to grow anew, like the many-headed hydra. I make cuts to keep it human in appearance. Um, a scar in my throat seems to spill wine when it opens, as if my blood has completely been replaced with this human poison. When hunters close, the wound pours. That's another thing. We did have a wine cult of death um, under yeah. Dionysus, which was quite cool. That was a fun bit. That yeah. was a fun bit. <laughs> it didn't last too long, but that was fun. Um, and then last but not least, we uh, are permanently frostbitten, uh, where our hand was shoved underwater, which is a punishment for being a stowaway on Cicero's ship. Uh, and although it's black and horrible and rotten, it never seems to heal or drop from our body. Uh, so here we are. We're in we're in Egypt. I'll read you the last bit of memory that we have. So, um, Medea's faithful still serve her. They'd follow her into the wretched halls of Tartarus if she asked them. She may as well have done, for all the good it did them. Turned loose in the sewers to hunt me down, they fell like so many rats. The ship, 
a sewer, a rodent, a human. It makes little difference. They all bleed the same, apart from the ships and sewers, obvs. I flee to the lands of the Nile. Fertile for both crops and flesh, I thrive here. But my greed is, as it ever was, my downfall. Luckily for my chances here, it was the upwind of the people under Rome's heel, as my culling of their Mediterranean rulers leaves them in a position of great power. And that's where our story stands. And we have a super chat here from Hello, I'm Duke Ken, who asks, or says rather, this is so very detailed. You guys put a lot of creative effort into this. I'm very impressed. With three vampire emoji. Thank you very much, uh, Duke Ken. But we're gonna, we're gonna kick off from here. Like I said, there's a link in the chat. Um, mods or loadies of you around, if you don't mind just spamming that link every time somebody asks for it, I'll just do a quick little copy paste um, so that you've got access to it. But that is available here. Oh, oh God, why is it doing that? Hold on. <laughs> One second. How are you feeling that today, Johnny? Good. Yeah, fine. Not too bad. Um, it's here. What's been going on today? Been doing some work, because that's my job. Um, I walked the dog on my lunch break, and then she needed a bath. Um, you know. Yeah. There you sort go. of it's your average Thursday, really. Your average Thursday. Um, just sort of um, just reflecting on how cheerful the last two entries were. <laughs> <laughs> really positive vibes coming out of well um, we're in a position of power now or at least we're you know favorable to someone in a position of power yeah christian so duffield good. asks this the same pirate vampire it's the same <laughs> pirate vampire it's it's been quite a journey so far indeed but it's going to go on longer hence thousand year old vampire so i've already done our roll uh it was eight minus six so we are going to go two pages forward so just in case anyone is tuning in for the first time, the way this game works is we use a kind of choose-your-own-adventure style book of prompts. We roll two dice to determine whether we go forward or backwards in the book, and then we answer the prompt that we land on, which in this case is going to be prompt 20. Wonder. Ooh. That's interesting. Good so, there is a great shift in the way that society moves goods. How does this work to your advantage... Check a skill, and then create a skill based on a memory. Interesting. All right. Well, chat. You know, uh, pitch in, lend a hand. Yeah, what could how, this be? How do, so this is wait, a big change in the way that humanity moves goods. Yeah, society moves goods. So, society well, moves maybe, goods. maybe like proper trade deals are being stricken up across the, uh, the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. I wonder if... Maybe after Rome lost power over Egypt, they actually got a little bit scared and they were like, no, it's fine. Well, let's, let's strike up a trade deal, everybody. Everything's fine. <laughs> Nobody needs to kill yeah. each other. Alex Simpkin suggests the Silk Road. Silk Road's a very good um, idea. Aurel Gonzalez says Amazon is invented. Uh, Laura B says larger ships, so larger crates. Uh, by Crocodile. Uh, Cleopatra takes over and we get contacts in Rome again. Um... La 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 la. Um, trains, big time jump. JJ minus <laughs> seventy four. I like your thinking. I think we're still um, before Christ at this point. <laughs> yes, before Common Era. <laughs> uh, catapult, long distance land caravans become viable. I like Silk Road. Silk Road's a cool idea. Yeah, another Silk Road. And maybe the maybe the skill would be that we have like contacts in the east, kind of thing. Um, okay. Oh, Johnny, big yawn. Sorry. Do you want a nap? <laughs> don't, don't tempt me, bro. <laughs> Make an arc. Make Canals an arc. network. Aqueducts. Travel to Jerusalem. Interstellar trade. And you'll be also really just pushing that, <laughs> that big job. Look, I mean, it's fiction, right? We, we don't have to stick too much to history. <laughs> Industrial yeah. revolution before the common era started is, uh, is an interesting one, isn't it? All right. So we've got... Uh, for our skills that we still have left to check. Yes. We've got Martial Discipline, Bacchanalian, Bloodthirsty, Hypnosis, Lover, and Prophet of Dionysus. Um, so we can choose any of those to check off uh, to use for our... What if we sort of did an entrepreneurial thing? What if we checked Martial Discipline and used our old, you know, our, our well-worn and well-tested skills in leading other people to open up a new Silk Road, basically. Oh, we kick it off. We kick it off. Oh, baby. All right, then. So, yeah, I guess maybe the martial discipline, it's like, because we're so good at protecting our goods, like, 
raiders are not an issue to us, so we have a kind of advantage over the, the rest of the traders. Yeah. Do you want to write this one, or shall I? You kick yourself. Go on. Okay. Why not? All right. Let's find a memory to shove this one in. Um, okay. Might have to start striking some stuff off soon. I think so, to be honest. I mean, six is about us going to Rome. Yeah. Go, uh, going to Egypt. Sorry. Oh, screw it. We'll just shove it in six. It's fine. Okay. Make that small talk, Johnny. Uh, yeah, I was just changing the word Mediterranean to... Um... The way it should be spelt. I, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think I've ever spelt the word Mediterranean correctly in my entire life. <laughs> Isn't it weird how everyone has one or two words that they just cannot get right first time? For oh, me, for years, it was maneuver. Do you know just, what? For me, didn't know um, restaurant. I don't know why, but every single time I write the word restaurant, it's something different and it's never correct. <laughs> <laughs> Rostrang. <laughs> Rosatorant. Uh, what about you, the chat? What words, uh, Ronnie says, necessary? Um, that's yeah. It's it's ones like that that are easy to trip up on. Like accommodation Nece- recommendation. Necessary has a collar. A shirt has a collar and two sleeves. I remember that one from school. Hey. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah, C and two S's. Recommendation or coordination. Get Jim my uh, seventy four every time. <laughs> Isabella Liberty says suspicious. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, fair. Dan Kelleher says I still can't get maneuver right. Spelling maneuver correctly as he does so. Embarrassed, February, recipe, receive, separate or separate. Um, the, the absolute worst thing is, though, when you think you've typed something wrong and then you realise that it's just trying to Americanize it and it's like, no, there like is a honorary. you in there. <laughs> yeah. When I was, back when I was a games journalist, uh, this was years ago now, when they just rebooted Medal of Honor, I got an email from EA asking me to stop uploading uh, trailers with a U in brackets in the middle of Honor. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, fine. Um, ah, Dan Kelleher, in fairness, tried three different ways to spell maneuver before autocorrect stepped in. Fair enough. <laughs> Twist Apple says, I'm Australian and live in America, and I have no idea how to spell anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> dear, oh dear. Mm. Um, okay. Can't you set the spell checker to British English? Probably. I don't know. Yeah, I think right. you can. <laughs> that would oh, require well. some effort, and then I wouldn't be able to moan about it anymore. So yeah, this is true. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that. Hi, Carl Fry says, lol, I thought it's just a problem for people whose English is not their first language. Oh, no. No, no. The English <laughs> language is, is a veritable minefield of weird spellings and uh, tenses that make little sense with many, 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 many different verbs. Um, apologies for uh, our, our, our weird sort of mishmash of a language and its prevalence. Slash for colonialism, obviously. Dan Keller says honorary doesn't have a U in British English. No? I, I don't spell honorary with a U, so. Oh, well. We okay. might have to just. God damn it. Just... You win this one, America. <laughs> <laughs> How are you looking? You done? I think you can start reading it slowly. Okay. I was an honorary citizen of the banks of the Nile for all but a few years before I began to see coin find its way to my purse. Using years of experience with a blade and leading those who favour the same profession, a caravan company with fearsome guards becomes the talk of the streets. Then the conversation became frantic investment when strange new lands to the east sought my business. Just got it there. Just got it. <laughs> well, well. All right. So we've got a new skill now, um, which we can add in. What do you reckon? What would we have learned doing this that we did we didn't 
no from solely being a good martial leader i guess that's the question i guess business right like some kind of uh yeah master of coin maybe something like that hmm that's i guess yeah um veronica matchuk says merchant mark le Hure says mercantile yeah mercantile says cadaveneer i like mercantile yeah mercantile yeah okay uh roll those bones johnny Oh yeah, which what am I rolling again? It's a D ten and a yeah, a D ten minus a D six. That's the one. Uh, that's two. Two plus two. Mm-hmm. Plus two is twenty two. Okay. Yes, it is. Create a mortal character. You have shaped them from infancy to be exactly what you want. Lose a resource. That's a very good prompt. Wow, yeah. Let's see what you um, have to say, chap. We do have a super chat before we get to that, though. Uh, from Skills Loading, he says, uh, Glad to see this return. Was inspired to pick this up after part one, and my drunken Roman lord is currently living penniless in Scandinavia. It got wild. That's pretty much where we were going, but then we, we turned heel uh, and went yeah. to Egypt instead. Okay. So we need to make a, a mortal who we have basically crafted to be Our whatever we want yeah and mm. interesting mm. let's see what everyone's saying um who gets us bodyguard blood, who gets us blood people are saying cleopatra to to foster uh cleopatra underneath us would be pretty cool I mean, Cleopatra or Caesar seems nice. Ignis says, at the risk of heresy, Jesus. <laughs> Ronnie says, you steal Moses out of the basket in the river. Jesus. <laughs> what if we did lead a cult? <laughs> I mean, I mean another are... cult. People are starting to say Cleopatra. Like, quite a lot of people are saying Cleopatra. Well, it's your prompt, Johnny. What do you reckon? Yeah, you wanna, go on then. You want to bring Cleopatra under our employ? Oh, if we get a prompt where we get to turn Cleopatra into a vampire, that would be very, very cool. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that would be pretty great. All right. I'll tell you what, um, what's your... Uh, where do we find mortals? They're down here. Uh-huh. There you go. I was just about to say, whilst you're doing your prompt, I'll make a little mortal thing for you. Oh, I see. Oh, what? No. Yeah, yeah, fine. You do that then. Oh, I don't want to use my microphone, Google Docs. What the hell? What was what was the strike through? <laughs> Hold on, I can't remember. Uh, Alt Shift Five. It's that one. You know it. You love it. It's Alt Shift Five. Should we call her Cleopatra or is she Cleopatra of? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's give it a Google. Cleopatra the sixth. Oh, seventh brother, uh, Philopator. There you go. Let's do that one, shall we? All right. That's so uh, very exciting. Yes. The Dragon's Battle says Google Docs in a nutshell. So where are you popping this one? Uh, straight under where you just went. I'm afraid you can't, my friend, because that what? that memory is, is full. full. We can only have three experiences per memory. Oh, nuts. Which means you have to okay. like, shove it somewhere else or start striking something out. <laughs> Angel Beat says, just don't clear patronize her. <laughs> I can. I'm going to stick it in five. Okay. Oh, that's an interesting p- place to put it, actually. Um, okay. Well, we'll leave Johnny writing that for a second. Um, just for anyone who's just joined us, by the way, just catching up, we are playing Thousand Year Old Vampire. It's a solo journaling RPG, but it can be played in groups in exactly the way that we're doing it right now, where you all do short form um, journal entries that are just sort of a sentence or two long, and then collaborate on the 
on the prompts that you're given. We are currently playing a um, an well an ex uh, Grecian pirate who is now leading a very profitable Silk Road caravan company with incredibly strong uh, mercenaries guarding the the, uh, the caravans themselves. And we have just uh, found out that we've been raising Cleopatra this entire time, which is very exciting and is exactly what Johnny is currently writing. Looks like I've got... Yeah, Toto is just door-stopping in the background. Hello, mate. you just woken up. Speaking of Egyptians, big fan of cats. <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is just moodily looking at us in the corner. <laughs> was burning enough. Uh, Alex Meehan asks, what kind of products do this vampiric caravan sell? Uh, well, <laughs> it was a bit jarbled English, but I managed to put it down. Pots, mayhap, says Meehan. You ready for me to start very slowly reading? Yes. Yeah. Like a like a ghost taking, chasing Pac-Man? Yes. Years later, I begin to see myself in the gaze of a young woman. A trusting look, loving even, as my tutelage brings me close to one who would be queen. Coin opens many doors and makes as many friends, ones willing to overlook even the marks that betray my kind, to those wary enough to ask the right questions. I have gone from canny merchant to powerful vizier. <laughs> I'm now picturing us in like full Jafar robes. Oh from yeah, Disney's Eleven. <laughs> Isadora. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lionel L has done a super chat saying, "For wheels is cat who looks on in annoyance and disdain." <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. All right, let's roll them bones. Uh, that is four minus four, which means that we read the same prompt again. <gasps> uh oh. oh. Your diary is lost or stolen. That's not good. That doesn't sound good at all. Lose the diary and all memories it contains. If you have no diary, lose one resource. Create a character who you wrongly blame for this loss. <gasps> oh, didn't we have to lose a resource last time, by the way? Did we? Uh... Yes, we did. Which is, uh-oh... We've only got one resource, Wheels, and it's the ear of the pharaoh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because well, the pharaoh's I mean, gone, right? Sense. She's the queen now. <laughs> it's fine. That makes sense. Sure, okay. <laughs> Shift alt five, baby. <laughs> we should get some resources. Not that we're really, mm -hmm. you know, able to choose to do that, but we should definitely get some resources. Oh, no. um, we we're about to forget Sappho. Oh, Sappho. Oh, Shadow27 uh, says your diary should be a resource. Oh, it should. I don't know if that's... Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we're about to lose it anyway, so it's fine. Yeah. Uh, so we'll just put uh, diary one. Crap. Right. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to strike this all out. Yep. God, we've forgotten who Sappho is. That is not good. Not Sappho. That's not good at all. She was a fan favorite. I mean, she's dead, yeah. I guess, but... And then I'm um, going to cut this and put it at the bottom of the page. Okay. The one who snacks has done a super chat saying, Toto is the reason that mattress is queen-sized. <laughs> um, and Cookie Cat 94 has done a super chat saying, can we appreciate how pretty the book is? Oh, We God, can. Yeah. In fact, Indeed, Wheels, yeah. Yeah, included this very book in a, a list of beautiful RPGs that you may wish to check out, including such other novel novels, volumes as... <laughs> uh, Aegon. And also another one that I have next to me here, Morkborg. Morkborg. Somebody was asking about Morkborg earlier as to whether or not we're going to play it. So um, I think, so ironically, um, Sarah, who used to be part of the team, asked if we wanted to do a video on it. I think Matt said it might be a bit too uh, not PG-13 for the for the dice-breaking audience. Ah. We'll see. Not audience, ah. but, you know, content plan. Look who's arrived. Yes. Um, okay, so... We need new mortal then. Oh, you also need to describe Cleopatra whilst I'm creating this uh, this character. Oh right. Hello, mate. Come on then. Say hi to the chat. Say hi to the chat. They've all been talking about you. Your ears are burning, aren't they? Okay. Totally um... wholesome. <laughs> right. 
rates. Titan Uranus says that isn't how you say Morg Fork. <laughs> I know, it's fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. How do you say it? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, okay. I just know that that's not correct. I was uh, never under uh, any illusion that that was correct. So is she queen right now, or is she about to become queen? Um. Yes? I don't know. What do you reckon? Um... On the cusp. Queendom? Queendom? Queendom. Uh, kingdoms are so last century. Let's call the... Oh, well, I suppose I should get Egyptian names up, shouldn't I? Ancient Egyptian names. Egyptian baby names. On family.disney.com <laughs> the one resource you need for Egyptian names um, let's go with uh... Hannah Axelson says actual Swedish person here it's a bit more like Mookburg 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 Emma Benton is in the chat and says anything exciting chat. happened in the last 20 or so minutes as I drag myself out of bed uh, oh, oh quite a few. the O with an umlaut is pronounced like the Ein Thirst. So Merkberg. 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 Thank you, Titan Uranus. Um, <laughs> Emma, we have just well, uh, some exciting things have happened. We've um, we've taken Cleopatra under our wing. Um, she thinks we're great because uh, we are basically like we've 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 been her tutor um, as she sort of grows up. And we, oh yeah, we lost our diary. That sucked. <laughs> that was bad. Okay. Right. Heket, who is the high priest of a moon. Oh. Uh, he is wily and, if left unchecked, dangerous. Hmm. I fear for his uh, ambition. Right. Let's find out where to put this memory. <laughs> oh, the days have been so long, Johnny. I barely remember who I am. Um. <laughs> all right. Two's full up as well. I think we should create a new diary and put. Maybe okay. two, five, and six into it. Okay. And then we've got plenty of room for memories. Come on. Sure. There you go. There you go. Let me just check how many memories uh, diary can have. Uh, four memories per diary. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. So the dragon's battle says, but you don't have the diary though. Can we just elect to make a new diary? Whenever? Yeah, you can make a new diary whenever you want. Yeah. Right. It's just it just Let's basically as soon as you put things in a diary, it means that uh, they can very easily be lost. Essentially. Okay. Can we say that these things are all written on the tummy of a crocodile that yes. we have befriended with um, meats? <laughs> Scrolls and in ink on the tummy of a crocodile. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. How does that last in the Nile River, says Kilted Gamer? It just it just does. <laughs> it just does, all right? Stop asking yeah. questions. <laughs> yes, and a live crocodile. Won't the ink wash off when the crocodile does a swim? No. 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 <laughs> You've all got such small imaginations. <laughs> Look, at least we know what, what's going to go wrong if, if we um, lose the diary. Rasmus NEM says, I bet the writing on the belly of the croc is to scale. Oops. <laughs> okay. Actually, do you know what? I'm not going to put five in there just yet because uh, otherwise you might forget about Cleopatra and that would be quite problematic. Okay, <laughs> okay all right. Yeah, let's go with. Uh... Oh, God. They're all quite important, actually. Yeah. 
<laughs> Ronnie says it's a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to get rid of three because that's not really relevant right now. Let's do that. There. Done. All right, cool. So now we've got plenty of room. We've got two. Mm -hmm. We've got three. And we've got space in one as well. All right, so that should be 15. Doot, 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 doot. Right. So two. What what happened again? <laughs> Someone's Oh yeah, he stole our diary. Okay. Right. Yes. Well Well we no, we really yeah, no, blame. we we thought he did. Oh I've just dropped my phone on the keyboard. That's probably not good, is it? Okay, so Do some small talk, Johnny. Here we go. Um Okay, so yes, this entry I'll remind you is about Haket, the high priest of a moon. Uh, who is described as wily and, if left unchecked, dangerous. I fear for his ambition. He is very handsome. Um, <laughs> I didn't see that. Don't know who, don't know who wrote that last <laughs> one. Uh, weird. Um, oh, Biz, I think that's Bismuth. Bismuth says, finally get to catch one live. Unfortunately, it's because I'm stuck at home waiting for a COVID test. Oh, I, I hope you pass. Um Sorry that you're stuck at home. I, I hope it sort of all gets sorted soon. Eleanor Smith has done a super chat to say, I want to order this game for a friend of mine. Do you know where I can get it? Yes, Thousand Year Old Vampire is available on itch.io. Uh, I am going to uh, link you to it. Um, so you can, down, you can just download the PDF from the link I've just popped in the chat, or... You can get physical copies from thousandyearoldvampire.com. Um, I wonder how many years they've got that domain for. <laughs> <sighs> Honestly. I'm ready for you to uh, slowly read, my friend. You can pre-order the second printing through Backer Kit if you go to thousandyearoldvampire.com. Okay, uh, where is this one? Sorry. Uh, in two. Two. Okay. The priest of a moon watches me like a vulture in the court, ready to swoop in and steal my charge from me. One night I returned from work to my chambers, and my things had been broken into. The riches remain, yet my documents are seized. His handprints lay all over this. Well, well, well. Big things happening. Well, well, well. Big things happening. All right. Okay. Time for a roll, Johnny. Okay. That's snake eyes, so zero. Oh god, we're on the same page. We've we've never hit the third prompt on one page before. Uh oh. <laughs> right, Johnny, you've got some thinking up to do. Oh, this is really oh, no. bad. Oh no. Um, you become a loner, embedded in the now, manipulating a hundred threads to stay safe and fed. Lose a memory slot permanently. <laughs> okay and then take the skill feral cunning wow that is bad <laughs> we're very skillful we have no resources yes feral cunning jack, <laughs> jack wood has done a uh, super chat saying good luck for ominous jazz hands <laughs> Things that cannot be spoken of. <laughs> also, have some hot chocolate on oh. me. Thanks, can, can I just say Google Docs wants me to create a new character called Feral Cunningham? <laughs> Hello, my name is Feral Cunningham. <laughs> I am very handsome. I have a plan so cunning it would have been more buff by a fox who graduated with a degree in cunning from Cunning University. <sighs> Ooh. Karama says, forget one and give yourself a new Egyptian name. Oh, that's a very cool idea. I like that. Do it, mate. We'll do, we'll do it, all right. So wait, I just have to strike out one permanently. Uh, yeah, if you put a note saying gone forever on it or something. <laughs> okay. Gone forever. How do I strike through again? Uh, Shift Alt 5. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, three is um, 
Three is where I will start, I think. Uh, the one who snacks it on a super chat saying, calling it now, feral cunning is Toto's alter ego. <laughs> I kind of, I mean, this I've never met either of your cats, but I feel like Rosie is the one who's a bit more sneaky. Toto's kind of just a bit more like... Toto's a himbo. Who's in charge? Toto yeah, is absolutely right. a himbo. Rosie, I think, is sweet and tiny, but also probably knows what's going on, you know? Mm. I reckon there's, there's, a, there's a subtle uh, intelligence to her. Right. Where are you writing this one then, mate? In three. Also, I'm gonna have it to. also says we've become a loner. So, like, yes. we share the company of none. I'm guessing our relationship with Cleopatra has become a lot more business-like. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's check that chat. Uh, Titan Uranus says, uh, Cunning is more of a rabbit name in my mind. <laughs> Few people getting my Baldrick reference. I don't know how well I quoted that. It was definitely a bit of a bastardization. <laughs> um, right, okay. Another thing that we should probably bear in mind is the feral cunning. Like it's not it's not just like you're very good and smart at what you do, it's like I think the hunger is starting to take a hold on us. Like we're becoming a yeah. becoming a little bit more monstrous. Should probably uh, reflect that in our writing. Yeah. Rasmus says, "A loner who shares company with a nun. Are we God?" <laughs> 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 Eleanor says, "We shouldn't have upset that priest." Toto, what are you doing? You can't go in Jake's room. He's obsessed with going into Jake's room and eating the plants. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put some more cat grass out for him, I think. Let me know when you're ready for me to slowly read. Um. Yes, go. I think I'm done. Here we go. Yeah. Cleopatra has been made so perfectly in my own image that I no longer recall which is the original and which the reflection. I tumble headlong into my work, cajoling, threatening, killing when necessary. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. It faintly brings to mind the waters of obliteration in some river I can no longer name. I forget myself that the kingdom may survive. Oh, this is already becoming very tragic. I don't know what the River Styx is anymore, <laughs> but I want to reference it. <laughs> Something about poo sticks, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's roll right. them dice. Yes. Uh, I need to get. I need to wet my whistle. My throat's getting sore, okay. so I will be right back. Eight minus um, five is three. Three, 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 three. Let's see what we got. I can't believe we stayed on the same page for uh, three prompts. All right, we're on twenty-two now, so we're going up to twenty-five. Okay. Our prompt now, chat. Start thinking about this one. Your methods for acquiring victims are no longer effective. What has changed? Lose a resource and create a skill which describes your new feeding techniques. Lose a resource? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. It's just the diary, isn't it? That's all we've got left. <laughs> we've only got the diary. <laughs> I'm just going to remind myself what happens if you don't have any resources left and you lose one. Okay. Um, resources, resources, resources. There we go. Uh, let your resources figure prominently. Maybe there's a separate section on losing things, perhaps? Playing the game. Oh. Right, oh god, yep. 
If you must lose a skill or resource and you have none, then your game is over. Narrate your vampire's demise using the prompt for your inspiration. Right, so if we hadn't made that diary, we would be dead right now. <laughs> and considering uh, considering that we are only 40 minutes into the stream, that may have been a bit of a problem, chat. A small problem. Um, well, somehow, I I mean, don't ask me how, but somehow the... Uh, is it Shift-Hold 5? There we go. Somehow the, the Crocodile Belly Diary... Uh, no longer works anymore, which I think is terrible. <sighs> Let's put that after our other one. The crocodile's not dead, I'm saying that. I'm definitely saying that right now. There we go. That is also crossed out. We've lost all, the, all those memories like tears in the rain. Um... First time it fell to me, the little spirits of the crew. So we've we've forgotten about. Oh god, <laughs> forgotten about our Dionysus cult. Um, we forgot how we even got here. Sorry, hello. Oh, hello, we've, Johnny. We've not lost the fucking crocodile. Have we? I just dropped language. The... Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> lost like crocodile tears in the rain. Yeah. Oops. Right. Uh, I just want to point something out as well, Sean. <laughs> you just just swooped in with a massive f bomb. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. Uh, I just want to point out that diary was also our last resource. Um, if we ever try to lose a resource, we don't have any. Then our vampire perishes. <laughs> we might have to make another diary. <laughs> okay. That's... We are losing all of our memories very quickly. Um, wait, uh, wait. Are you saying like, have we basically just lost? No, no, no. Um, because we had that diary, we lost the diary instead of dying, basically. Okay. So, I think oh, we're gonna have to get rid of the the dread pirate Hepatios, maybe. Um, Philippa says you can spend your skills instead. Is that true? Don't think so, you know. Hold on, let me just check. Sorry, I swore that. <laughs> you should be absolutely ashamed of yourself. I know. Right, okay. Um, only skills and resources may be substituted for each other. You may not choose to lose characters' memories or marks in place of a skill or resource. Okay. So we can lose skills instead. That's good, because we have a lot of okay. skills. The one who snacks says, I am shocked. Shocked? Well, not that shocked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's 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 not make another diary just yet, then. It is a silly place. Yeah. Okay, so you're up to roll the dose. Okay. Oh, no, wait, we haven't even written the prompt yet, have we? Sorry. Uh, nice. Your methods for acquiring victims are no longer effective. What has changed? Lose a resource and create a skill which describes your new feeding techniques. Cleopatra refuses to send people to our chambers to be eaten. I mean, yeah. Maybe she's she's wising up that this is a bad person to have as a mentor. Mm. Um, I expect such things from wheels, but Johnny, Artem Bale says Johnny swears. Gasp. <laughs> How things have changed in just a year. <laughs> CookieCat94 has done a super chat to ask, How do you know a vampire has COVID? The coffin. Right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> you're, right, you're writing a, a wee prompt there, then. Yeah, I'm just thinking about this one. Um, Payback for the F-bomb. Yeah, fair enough, Cookie Cat 94 Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, God, yeah, we've only got four memory slots now. <laughs> We're going to have to make a diary anyway. All right, I'm putting the, I'm putting the Hepatios memory into a diary. Wait, did we lose another one for, for, for um, another slot permanently? No, we started with five memory slots and we lost one permanently. So now we're on four. Oh, okay. Uh, our new diary oh. is um, a small journal with a picture of 
have a big himbo cat on the front. <laughs> Very good. Right. So. That was memory five. Here we go. Okay, so. Uh, hold oh, on. Another super chat. Unperceptive paladin has done a super chat saying pennies for treats. That is, if there are any left once the swear jar gets into you. <laughs> okay, so prompt. Prompt, prompt, prompt. Time to do a prompt. Uh... I will fill some yeah, time. <laughs> um, a lot of people in the chat have been saying, to, saying Watson. Um, I assume she just walked past. I think or you left can see her, her in the reflection. Oh, no. Oh, they can see her in the reflection. Mm. How is that possible? Uh, the reflection of the... Um... The glass, glass, yeah, yeah. Or at least she, she was there at some point. It might have just been a Oh, debate, she was yeah. there. Yeah. How strange. Um, Balls, what do I call them again? I'll, 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 um, I'll get her into my lap at some point. Don't you worry. She has... Um, she is now able to recognise the sound of me opening a packet of hula hoops from upstairs. <laughs> um, I opened a packet of hula hoops in the kitchen earlier and then I heard her come down the stairs and she walked into the kitchen like, oh yeah, hula hoops, is it? So, um, gave her a hula hoop. So that was nice. Ooh, Alice Needham is currently watching while writing for my master's submission. Keep accidentally typing vampire. Sorry, Alice. Hope the master's submission goes well, though. None of your business demands, Watson, in recompense for, recompense for the swear. You can demand all you like, none of your business. But um, Watson shall appear if she wants. For the US people, how is a hula hoop edible? Artima Bale, that's a great question. A hula hoop is actually a kind of uh, crisp uh, or chip, as we would term them. Uh, they are potato, like short potato cylinders, basically, or hoops. Um, I can show you an empty packet from a hula hoop. They look like that. That'll draw um, over. And they're delicious. Oh, there you go. That's all you had to do. True enough. That's all you had to do, Johnny. Come here. Well, that actually worked. I feel awful because I don't have any. Up here. Up here. Come on. Up. Up. Yes, 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 yes. She had a, she had a bath earlier, so she's not wearing her collar right now. What's in your naked on stream? Don't shame her. <laughs> the stream is horny on main, to be fair. She smells really good, actually. Smells like eucalyptus and menthol. Oh, can you um, can you remind me of a good word for telling off? I'm having a blank here. Bollocking. <laughs> no, a good one. <laughs> Starts um, with an F. S, sorry. Um, an S? I think so, yeah. Telling off. Scold! Thank you, Titan Uranus. Well, then, welcome. Admonishment is what I would have gone with oh, F. Ash F. Sorry, yeah. But I said, I sorry, Titan Uranus. Uranus. Admonish is very good. No, it was Ash. Oh, no. Castigate. That's a good one. Kilted Gamer. I like it. Chastisement, says Mark Le Hooray. Reprimand, berate. Grim Severs says, oh, who's this? Hi, you two. Hi, Grim. Hello, Grim. How are you? How are you doing? It's, I'm glad you're here. Watson says hello. Oh, oh, Christ. Oh, God. Just sit. Have a good sit. There we go. Sorry, girl. Tongue lashing, says Ignis. Hello, lovely beans. Oh, Hi, Watson. Hi, Grim. Well, I've been called a lovely bean. <laughs> Are you ready for me to yeah, start reading? It. Very slowly. Okay. Okay. Grim says, I stopped binging Steps music videos to come and say hi. Toto. I'm glad that... See you, Watson. Um, I hope you're watching some good ones. Um, right. Are there any bad Where ones? Where is this one? <laughs> Where is this one? Uh, we are uh, in two. second one in two, yeah. Okay. 
Tensions rise between myself and Hakeet. We come to blows in the courts in front of the general public, much to the shame of my puppet queen. Oh God. Oh my to my surprise, she admonished me in full view of my peers. I returned the favour with the back of my hand. Oh, I didn't realise you were still talking. Uh, still no, talking no, 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 I was ready, but then I started typing and then it put me to a random part of the page, but I'm back now, it's all oh, good. Okay. <laughs> there is an uncomfortable silence for what feels like an eternity. That night, I'm informed our arrangement is no longer on the table. Our arrangement. <laughs> Your. <laughs> I remember now. I was a pirate once. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Right. Uh. We were also supposed to describe our new feeding techniques, but that's fine. We'll do it with a skill. And the skill is, um, ooh, what is the skill, Johnny? Um, is this supposed to be to do with how, how we, we now feed now food. that we're not basically being fed? Pretend to be crocodile. <laughs> uh, help, help me out here, chat. There must be something better. Life-sucking tax collector is cool. Maybe we start demanding it from people on top of their... Uh, yeah? Okay. Of their fees. Alex B. asks, what is ratting? It's, uh, <laughs> as it sounds, it's the killing of rats on board a ship. Don't um, don't look it up on Urban Dictionary. I don't know what it would mean, but I, I fear for the worst. I, yes. Because um, there was a point where we had to survive on a ship, and we were just eating I was in the sewers, rats. wasn't it? I thought it was on the ship. I think it's both. <laughs> Probably both. Ooh. Yeah, because... Yeah, it was both. Because then I was like, rats, men, they all die yeah, the same. Yada, yada, yada. Um, okay, so... Uh... What is Bacchanalian for Aya Chris? Um, it is um, throwing a party, getting people d -d -d drunk. Matt Conabira suggested night stalking. I've gone for blood tolder. Ooh. There you go. Nice. <laughs> no, <laughs> night stalking sounds like a, a sort of... An REM night side. stalker, night stalker. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. you gotta stalk the nights. <laughs> right, roll them bones, Johnny. Dem bones, dem bones. Ratting, killing of NPCs in Memorpagus for loot. Rats are the common first enemy in many RPGs and become synonymous with easy kills for in-game gold or rewards. Straight from Urban Dictionary. Thank you very much for looking that up, Ronnie. Despite uh, me telling three. you expressly not to. <laughs> Listen, if you tell Ronnie not to look something up on Urban Dictionary... <gasps> Johnny. Mm. Oh, God, Johnny. This is possibly the best prompt we've had so far in this in entire two-parter. Okay. Just here for the occasion. Are you ready? Chat, are you ready? Yes. A long dead mortal character returns. What do they want from you? How have they survived death? You only recognize them if you still have a related memory. Check a oh, skill. No. I mean, this is There's going to be choice. very sad. We don't know who she is anymore. Nope. No, we don't. Come here. Sappho is a sexy vampire in all caps, says Ronnie. I mean... Can you, oh, can you imagine the heartbreak if she found us and was just overjoyed and we were like, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. Imagine... Perhaps you can imagine, my dear friend Johnny. Uh, we'll have to check a skill for this one as well. So, where on earth is this going to go? Choose this one for your uh, choose a skill. Sorry, for your inspiration here. Okay. And we'll see what the chat say. I mean, they're all saying Sappho, obviously. Yeah. Skills. Lover. <laughs> I mean, uh... <laughs> there it is. It's finally come round. <laughs> Ronnie was right there with you. There's only one choice. Okay. All right. Okay, chat. I need right. Whilst whilst Johnny writes 
this memory, I need you to all be on your best behavior. <laughs> because, look, we've all been waiting for this moment, all right? It's like when you finally get to romance your favorite NPC in an RPG, okay? It's, it's a big moment. In fact, it happened to me recently with Hades. So, you know, we all just need to stay calm. Uh, Jack Wood is typing in all caps, make it gay, make it gay. It's already very gay, my friend. Um, <laughs> Eleanor Smith has said the B word straight up. It's the exact opposite of what I asked. Emma says, when have we ever been on our best behavior? Which is a very good question, actually. When have you ever been on your best behavior? I genuinely can't recall the time. Um, so no meeting them at an orgy then. No, we're not meeting her at an orgy. It's got to be a lot more poignant than that. I've got to let the dog <laughs> Not a euphemism. Oh, hello. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Uh, I don't know why. Stream is healthy and excellent, apparently. Oh, no, that was at 256s. All oh, right. Apparently, we're struggling with the video output, but it seems fine on OBS. Let me know if we've got any... Um, We've got any lag or anything like that, chat. It seems okay. I think YouTube's just trying to make me scared, to be honest. Which is very mean of it. Oh my god, Anthony O'Connell suggests that she's a lich. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Oh, the, the mug of tea makes you look even more like a writer than you already do, Jenny. <laughs> you just need like a, a big fancy typewriter to be typing this on. Some kind of log cabin. I'm set to Paladin says looks okay, fine for me. It lurched a moment ago. Oh, we're back on excellent condition now, so we should be alright. I don't know if anyone saw, but YouTube like literally went down last night. I was trying to show some some people yeah. something that was unlisted, and they were like, uh, <laughs> I can't watch anything. <laughs> Grim says she's here for the cats and Watson. Well, I mean, what else do you come into these streams for, really? I was Rosie in the background as well. I told you, she's the cunning one. Or rather, Johnny told you, I guess. Or gasp, there's some kind of we werewolf. I don't there? know our name anymore. No, we don't. Oh, Johnny. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Yeah, apparently it went down internationally. Jeez. Oh. 14 says, I remember YouTube going down last night. <laughs> like, like it was some kind of historic event. <laughs> Donatron says she's an immortal like Highlander minus the accent. She has no memory of her death and has been wandering the desert for as long as it's been dying over and over. Jesus Christ. It's a lot of very tragic uh, suggestions coming in. I think you're ready for me to start reading slowly. Done. Already sated with blood, I turn aside from my usual hunt to satisfy other appetites with flesh. An evening of Wine and song turns to a night of sweat, of limbs, of barely caught breath. She calls me by a name I do not recognize. The whisper of it rings hollow in my ear, even as it makes the hair at the, at the name of my back. Nape. Nape, 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 nape of my neck, nape. Damn you, autocorrect. Hair at the nape of my neck stand on end. I have no name to whisper back. In the morning, she is sullen. sullen. I, I was doing it for dramatic effect, Johnny. I know what the word is. I was trying to do that hip-hop thing where they finish the line <laughs> with their friends. She does not stay long. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Upper, downer, oh, upper, downer. Down. <laughs> that was intimidating. That was. To have to write I think you like absolutely that. annihilated it, though, mate. Rosie, what are you doing? <laughs> can't let me be alone, can they? Are you all right? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Brawny Fanta said that sounds like it was pulled from actual memory. <laughs> Jeez. I'm pleased to report that I have never slept with, with somebody without knowing them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Sappho. 
Poor, poor Sapphire. Yeah. Whoopsie. Oh my goodness. Okay. Right. Uh, time to roll. None of your business is the long dead mummy. How long? About six feet. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, that is five minus four, so we're just going one ahead. Okay. We're on 29. Going a lot faster than <laughs> through the book than we did in the last one. Mmm. Okay. Oh, God. You are exposed as a monster and flee to a far off land. Lose any stationary resources. You do not know the language of this new place. How do you overcome this obstacle? And what new name do you take? I think we travel to Silk Road. Yeah. I think we go like Byzantine way. Yeah. Okay. Um, can we please take Sappho with us? <laughs> she ain't a stationary resource. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see what chat has to say. Teresa yeah. says, "Oh, not again!" I think, um, I think her cat definitely outed us. Yeah. Uh, after finding our um, diary, maybe we wrongly blamed him for stealing it because actually he paid someone to do it for him. Mm, yeah. Or we could go to China, says Mister George. Oofed. Ronnie says, "How horrible would it be if Sappho was revenge for forgetting her exposed us?" Oh, that's that. Sappho wouldn't do that. Surely, Bad lover. Sappho would never do that to us. Yes, take her, says Sammy J. <laughs> yeah, it does. Up to, it's up to does you. Does Sappho want to up follow? To you. She didn't stay. It's long. your it's your prompt. Like just because of the way my storytelling tends to trend, like I would one hundred percent go with that. But it doesn't have to be. After all, Eleanor Smith says Sappho can be our translator. Just quite useful. That would be quite. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we'll lose all stationary resources, which is... Uh, oh, let's check. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Wait, doesn't that mean we're dead? No, because no, we don't have any stationary resources to lose. Oh, yeah. okay, right. Okay. Um, and then also... What was the other one, sorry? We also... Um, Anthony O'Connell, I'm hiding that what message. What name do you take? That is... That is... <laughs> <laughs> not having that no, chat, that is absolutely. not alright that is not how we <laughs> treat the most incredible woman in this, apart from the main character herself of course um, right, here's what happens uh, we're going to follow on number 5 feel free to keep that air filled, Johnny I will, I will um, <laughs> he says um Emma Benson says, are you just scribbling this on random walls now, since we are Son's diary? No, this is in our it's brain. Good this, is, this bit's in, oh, our it's in our brain. Okay. Fine. Good, good, good. We'll, we'll just have to find a different beast to scroll our recollections on. <laughs> Watson is standing in the garden, just looking reprovingly through the window, being like, why aren't you out here playing? I've got, <laughs> I've got a ball. Big stretch. She's a good girl. Oofed. Mm -mm -mm. Could write the new diary on your thigh. Says Kilted Gamer. <laughs> One of the what you, only body parts suggests... that hasn't been ripped off. <laughs> yeah. Daniel Wooden suggests a panda diary instead. Or write on Sappho. <laughs> um... Hot wax. <laughs> <laughs> Thiery, yes, that is quite a good name for it. Um, do do. What else? What else is the chat show? Shave a camel. If you forget something, it was just the fur growing back in. Says Michael Hayden. Oh, ah, no, not right. Mm. Thigh Carumba says Angel B. I think I think we're going out. We're we're ditching the idea of making a diary out of our thigh. Um, that's just not happening. Uh, 
How are we looking, Wheels? Uh, give me some more time. This is going to be a, this is going yep, to be a perfect right. one. Sure thing. Well, it's it sure is a, a clear <laughs> and sunny day here in uh, in uh, this part of the United Kingdom on the twelfth of November, twenty twenty. Um, uh, oh, Watson's come back in. Hi, oh, girl. Well, she did a half squat. I don't know if she's itchy or whether she was. I don't know. Composer narrative dance. We have long term. We have no long term memory. We keep forgetting new ones. We're writing stuff on our bodies. Are we memento? Donatron, you ask a good question, and I don't know. Ash F is suggesting we make a tapestry. If it worked for Bio, it will work for you. Um, Dragon's Battle asks, how's lockdown? It's rubbish. Um, Kerama asks how the beer Continental is. It's delicious. It's still a crisp, refreshing 2.8% lager that comes in a tiny bottle, which is nice. I'm ready for you to read slowly now, if you want. Okay, great. Here we go. Over time, I grow to know this Sappho very well, worryingly well. She makes me feel vulnerable. And yet, when we spend the nights talking of the horrors we have both experienced, she turns to me as if to say, does this not seem familiar to you? And even though, in truth, I am scared to say it does, I cannot bear to tell her. For once in these hundreds of years I have wandered, I feel complete again, but this world does not allow for me to be happy. Pitchforks and fire meet our door, and the guidance from that wily priest. We rush to the nearest caravan and make our way east. Did not mean to make that last bit rhyme, but there we go. <laughs> oh, well. And we head east straight into a super chat from 87D Trip, <laughs> saying, had to send this small and late thank you for the last Among Us stream. It was nice to come home to you after 16 hours as a poll worker wow. in the US last Tuesday. Keep being great, you lovely people. Wow, 16 hours, that is no joke. Thank you for... for doing that that's, frankly that's weird 87 16 hours and you didn't see any voter fraud and i wonder what they're talking about <laughs> wow yeah that's that must have been um exhausting oh good lord okay karama says putting the romance in necromancy wheels <laughs> are you ready to roll my friends uh always oh, problem it's nice to have Toto up here, but now I'm covered in hair. I don't know where to put Minus me, five. But... Minus five? Oh, we were doing yep. so well. I know. Right, down to 25. Haven't we been to 25 before? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, we have. Oh, no. That means we're on prompt two. What physical labours are necessary to utilise this method? This is the new method that we, uh, we eat with. Create a simple, okay. practical skill... And strike out a memory. Ow. Um. What should we strike out? Hmm. Uh. Oh God. <laughs> Number three. Yeah. Not much in there, is there? See you later, number three. Take that, number three. <laughs> Karama says, forget Sappho again. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Oh, God. Um, Okie dokie. But we have to make a new... Yeah, just zoomed out by A new simp, simple skill. A new simp. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> a new skill. So, um, this blood tolling that we do on people is physically yeah. demanding for some reason, which will be reflected in the the skill that we've just taken. Okay. I'm guessing we need to we need to use a lot more physical force to threaten people now that we're in a land where nobody knows who the hell we are. Yes, we, we yeah, it's pure physicality rather than um, just intimidation, status, and influence. Yeah. Watson, don't do that. Stop Come here. fighting you two. Come here. Toto. She was. Like... Um... <laughs> just... Pets are all kicking up. It's all animals all the time here on DiceRigger.com. Yeah, yeah. 
Toto. <laughs> oh, God's sake. It's the way they'll fight a lot. You can see his tail wagging around in the background. But he's yeah. like, Rosie's like on her back like this, and they're just sort of stationary. And then Toto just lifts a paw like this. <laughs> <laughs> What's in? Karima suggests spider climbing. Come here. Come here. Come on. Hi. Yeah, that's better. Stop trying to chew a tree. Gosh. Um, physical skill. <laughs> the fate of a reverse beast master. <laughs> hmm. God, that's a deep cut. Hmm. I mean, presumably it would be physically demanding because we have to hide the bodies. Oh, right? okay. Maybe grave digger. Hmm. Yeah. Grave digger. This is such a cheerful game. <laughs> such a cheerful game. All right, right. That memory. <laughs> okay, so this is while we're heading east. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine this is even worse when you're already having to walk every single day. Yeah. Or hide. Okay, well, whilst, whilst Johnny is writing that, let's look at some of the fantastic suggestions that we didn't pick. Uh, we've got taxidermy. Um, Veronica says you become undertakers. I mean, to be honest, this seems like a pretty good position for a, uh, a vampire to have. Um, Dragon's Battle says learn the language. No, I think it expressly said that we don't know the language. I think it's going to take us a while, especially if we're going... It, well, it depends if we're going to, like... Are we going sort of Byzantine way, or are we actually going all the way to... Uh, to mainland China sort of thing. It would be quite cool to do Three Kingdoms. <laughs> when was the Three Kingdoms period? I'm just going to Google that quickly. I think it was 300 BC, but it might be 300 AD. Ah, oh, it's... God damn it. It's 220 AD. We can advance it along that march, right? What year is it? We don't really know. <laughs> it's been a while, that's for sure. Oh, no. Lolis is incoming with the joke of the week. No. Come on then, Lolis. Better now than, than when we're in the middle of something. <laughs> Brace for impact, says Nick, Nick Headley. Come on, Lolis. How long is this joke? Or did you say it was incoming and then start looking for one? <laughs> uh, uh, I did used to work on Three Kingdoms, yeah. So I've, I've got a fair amount of knowledge about it, to be fair. Or at least the, uh, the fictional version, anyway. Um. Ready for me to start reading slowly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we yeah, go. Yeah. Done. Hiding my baser appetites from Sappho was difficult enough, but hiding the empty husks from my kills is proving more taxing than I hoped. I sneak away into the night to feed, then further afield to make sure it lies undiscovered. Too late now do I realise how gladly and for granted I took having servants. Having a little bit of a culture shock. <laughs> Of course, fetch my own dinner. <laughs> Wilf Chapman Gandhi says, What if the joke is the silence? Oh. Wilf Chapman Gandhi. He's got a name that is really easy and to sing. I'm Rolling the dice. Oh. Here okay. we go. Why That's did one. the vampire have a second career as an artist? I don't know, Lolis. Why did the vampire have a second career as an artist? He was great at drawing oh, blood. <laughs> well, <laughs> I should have got more than one tiny French beer. <laughs> um, Tuesday Forever says, did we ever decide how Sappho was still alive? We oh, she's definitely a vampire at this point, right? If she's been alive this long. Oh, but I just said we're still hiding our baser appetites from her. Well, yeah, we don't necessarily know that she's one as well, I guess. 
Yeah, sure. Well, yeah. <laughs> can you imagine if we both met, sort of dragging corpses? We were like, oh, are you... oh well, this is awkward. <laughs> if you look peanut colada. <laughs> Whoa, what was that, Piglet? What are you doing? Right. Here's our next prompt. <gasps> Oriel Gonzalez says, unsubscribe. I understand. <laughs> oh, I actually I need understand. to move her to the. Uh... Hold up. I need to move her to the immortals section. And I'm going to shut the door because it's cold. Uh, I'm actually going to. Um. I need to rewrite her her description, really, because we don't know her as that anymore. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? Hold on. I'm going to make a nested point for her with the old description. Strike it out. And then describe her separately. Um, Sappho. And dare not call her lover. She is my everything. There you go. Uh, Alice Needham, uh, as part of a, a longer uh, comment that I won't read out in, in full because it will seem like I'm bragging, um, has asked for uh, hair tips for uh, her fiancé. Um, I have a tangle teaser brush, so I brush my hair to make sure it doesn't get too I've got a tangle teaser brush. They're very good <laughs> brushes. Uh, and apart from that, I just sort of wash wash it. And I don't know. I haven't had my hair cut in about two years. So it's taken a while to get to this length. I'm going to chop it all off. So uh, normative, we don't know she's been alive for a century because we don't remember who she was. We've lost we've lost yep. that recollection, I'm afraid. Uh, yep. No idea who she right. is. Right, so next prompt. You accidentally create a vampire through sloppy feeding. Now that we have to do it ourselves, we're screwed up. Sloppy, feeding. <laughs> sloppy That's seconds a feeding. <laughs> uh, create an immortal character from an existing mortal character. Why do you not destroy them? Check a skill. Our existing mortals are Cleopatra and Hecate, which means that one of them followed us. Which means that we're going to have to turn one of them into a vampire. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, Heather, Heather has just done a super chat uh, without saying anything. Mysterious. <laughs> um, what could they want? What do you, chat. Okay. Okay. Clear Pat. People okay. are saying we turn the priest as revenge. Priest. There's two. Lots of people saying Cleopatra, yeah, though, at the same three, time. Three, four for Cleopatra. About three or four for the priest. Cleopatra Oof. seems to be edging ahead. Dan Ten Nix says, "Just join the stream, so I'm going to start from the beginning now. See you in an hour and a right, bit." Dan Ten, welcome back. <laughs> Dan Ten, it's been so long. How are you doing? <laughs> Ash F says, "Rid yourself of that meddlesome priest." Well, we're not ridding ourselves of them. <laughs> Who will rid me of this turbulent priest? Get <laughs> and then kill them immediately because they are a jerk, says Daniel Wooten. <laughs> When you're right, you're right. <laughs> oh, this is split right down the middle, and I don't. This is. Difficult. I don't know. Oh God. Oh, Eleanor Smith says, "Hasn't she got to historically die later, though? Not necessarily. Yeah, not in our story. Priest will be funny. Sammy says, Kitty Cat. Priest will be. Yeah, funny screw it. I think he's got more reason to follow us as well if he wants us dead. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Oh god, no, not there. <laughs> he is very handsome, though. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. There we go. Look, when you know, when you're right, you're right. <laughs> Are we back? Are we back? We do appear to be back. Oh, there we go. All right, chat, can you hear me? I think you can hear me. You're back, says Adam Miller. Thank you. All right, yeah, it might have been an OBS issue then, because that seemed to be having some real bad times. 
Um, whoa, that was a whole string of shaking. All right, well, I'm going to start writing, uh, seeing as we are back in business. Okay, so I'm going to carry on this memory here where uh, tensions rise between myself and the cat. Um, and he has followed us. So... I'm going to call him a bastard. Try and stop me. Hello, we're we back. Yeah, we are. Look at that. That's good. That was weird. Uh, okay. So, I'm, I'm writing my experience. Sorry. My bad. Okay. Um, cool, cool. What did I miss? Um, no, nothing really. People just saying it works. Oh, we can see you again. Yes, that's good. <laughs> Johnny is now a chair, says Sonny Ripper. Yep. Happy 50th anniversary of the infamous exploding whale of Oregon incident of 1970, by the way. Yes. What? <laughs> did, you know, did you not know it? it in, in Oregon in 1970, a dead uh, whale washed up on the beach. And um, they, uh, they didn't know how to deal with it because it had been so long since, um, since that had happened. Uh, so the plan was just to blow it up with dynamite to fire it out to sea. Um, and it, uh, yeah, a, a car a quarter of a mile away was crushed by a big <laughs> chunk of whale. And it just, it basically, all the people that stood nearby to watch, uh, they had like chunks of stinking blubber. Oh, um, God. Like just raining down on them. It's a tremendous, absolutely tremendous uh, news report that has now been sort of re released in a 4K. <laughs> so, yeah. 4K whale explosion. As you can see, this is absolutely right up my uh, up my street. So. <laughs> God, they have actually restored it to 4K. <laughs> How's that for covering airtime? <laughs> It is very, very funny because you hear people like you see this this thing explode, and then you hear people being like "woo, yeah," and then you start to hear just, like bits raining down, and then people start screaming. <laughs> oh, it's very funny. Anyway, right, go. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Uh, we are on 2.3. Okay, great. The bastard follows our tracks into the sand, hungry for revenge. The fool has no idea that he is not the hunter, but the hunted. I fell him in his pitiful guard. I do not waste my efforts showing him the proper respect of my other victims as I drain him for all he is worth. Brackets, his blood, you naughty chat. <laughs> there we go. I was just preempting what you were yes, all going to say, Nick. You were absolutely right. <laughs> uh, yeah, they went there. Of course, they went there. Right. Um, and we have also. Oh, another question we asked is, uh, why do you not destroy them? But I'm guessing we just, like, we think so little of him that I don't think we even registered that he was going to turn. Yeah. Up. Right, okay. Roll them bones, Johnny, you're up. Dem bones, dem bones. It's a nice big positive number, I reckon. Minus two. <laughs> exactly. Brings us you're to welcome. 24. 
Right. You were forced to adopt a new name. Well, I think we've been asked for a new name about three times. We still haven't picked one, so we should probably do that now. Yep. Where are we? Uh, east. <laughs> are we in China? I think we can do Three Kingdoms China now. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, Let's sure. Let's do it. Um, so we need to pick a name. I don't know. <laughs> You're the one who knows lots about Three well, was, Kingdoms. I'm China. thinking more of a moniker rather than. I don't think we adopt oh. a local name. I think we adopt oh, okay. a moniker. We can get rid of Egyptian baby names. Uh, Reginald, Bob. is. Uh, these are chat suggestions, obviously. Reginald and Bob. Khan! <laughs> Lu Bu. Everyone's saying Lu Bu now. I don't think we should be Lu Bu. I think that might be. <laughs> yeah. We can definitely meet Lu Bu. Or Lur Bu. Okay. Jeffrey. Harold. <laughs> Why not? Let's just call ourselves Kane and have the legacy of Kane. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Done. A dyke? Oh, no. <laughs> Right. Um, Three Kingdoms is way before Cleopatra. Look, at, at no point has there been an ounce of historical accuracy in this entire Let's Play. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's a very good point from Martin Cox. Jiangxia is Chinese for vampire. And it's also um, the, name the name of, of the fantastic uh, RPG by Banana Chan and Simpson Ling. Let's do it. What if, okay. what if in our world, that word was that's made... a be terrible name to take for No, ourselves. but what if in our world that name, name was guy? made because of us? Imagine that. Okay, yeah. What if right. forevermore people called them Juncture because that's what we were called? That's pretty dope. <laughs> okay, sure. We'll go with that. Okay, right. Well, it's your memory to write, my friend. Where do you want it? We're running out of space again. We are indeed. We've got, hold on, we've got one, two, three... Well, we struck out three, so we can just... Yeah, move. we've got seven. Seven is open. So you can use seven as your next slot, if you like. Okay, I'll just use seven. Okay, so, catch me up. We've we've gone further east. Mm -hmm. We're in China. We're just, trying to, we're just trying to make a new name for yeah. ourselves. We've followed the Silk Road. Perhaps we're Undertakers, who knows. This is kind of, this okay. is quite an open prompt, to be honest. It's kind of up to you, or chat. Yeah. yeah. Suggestions on a postcard, please, chat. <clears throat> Daniel Wooten says, don't juncture, also hop, so we could maybe be very acrobatic. Yeah, true. New name, the mighty ham javelin, said Anthony, and then immediately retracted the message. <laughs> How old are we at this point? Oh, God. Uh, we started in 1100 AD, um, which means that we're going to... BCE? Yeah, and t technically the Three Kingdoms period is in the year 200, which means that we're very, very old. Over a century old. Um... Veronica says, you and Sappho open a panda sanctuary and live happily ever after. <laughs> Got a quote from me in here. He says, "Calling yourself Juncture is like when a main character in a film is played by Jeremy Irons or Alan Rickman. You already know who the villain is before you watch it." Well, I mean, it's also like you, you know, in comedy shows, um, actors like comedy actors always just name their characters after themselves. Does anyone reckon, like realize that? Literally, like most of the big characters, they're just like, "Ah, screw it, I'll just be called whatever the hell I'm already called." Like Will Smith is just Will in The Fresh Prince, you know? Like, it's just... So many people do it. I'm not sure why. Um, mm. Didn't see much silk. Ooh. Very disappointed out of 10, says Rasmus. You feeling good about this one? Uh, hang on. Not quite. Not quite. Okay. Uh, I mean, we, we also don't speak the language, so if someone called us Juncture, we could just be like, okay, cool, that's my name then. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, okay. 
and not slow to adapt to I do love the idea of us opening a panda sanctuary, but I think we might be slightly before the slightly ahead of the times for that. <laughs> um Oh my word. Luke Sutton says uh Oh, I'm so burpy. I have a four hour round trip drive to go do some car and family stuff. And I need to pick between a pair of obnoxious Chuck Taylors and a pair of Marvel Toms for footwear. What should I wear? That is Sophie's choice, my friend. <laughs> I don't know what Marvel Toms well, are. Well, Toms are the. Um... Let me just Google it so make sure I'm not chatting out my, my behind right now. But I think Toms are the. the they're kind of like. Uh vans for hippies kind of thing or vans oh uh, okay yeah they, they've got I mean, like I... sort of cork uh bottoms and then they're just like fabric they're almost like sock shoes they, s they sound more comfortable to drive yeah in. they do to be fair i did not know they made marvel toms i'll be honest mm. <laughs> actually do you know what i was plucking that out of thin air but vans for hippies is actually a really good descriptor for them <laughs> I've googled Marvel Toms now. Oh yeah, I didn't even try that. It's uh, Toms with two M's, by the way. Oh. Oh yeah, that's them. Yeah, that that tracks. <laughs> yep. All right. Then. Right. How are you feeling? Have you written your thing, or are you still going? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you got to tell me, Johnny. I don't know what's going on. Right. Done. The centuries trailing behind me and the years stretching out ahead do nothing to annoy me to the culture shock of new surroundings. I am not slow to adapt to the social mores of my new contemporaries, but marrying them up with what I truly am proves ever difficult. Sounds like he's writing a, a postcard while bored on holiday. <laughs> She's like... Hiya, nice here, still a vampire, makes things a bit yeah. tricky, getting by, love to the kids. <laughs> it's weird, everywhere I go, don't seem to be very fond of the idea of me existing. Um, Alright, let's roll mm. some more dice. Uh, that is ten minus two, we are going eight ahead, Johnny. Hey, that's yeah. not bad. Puts us on 32, which is as far as we've ever been. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. All right. You keep a prisoner. Why this particular person? Why don't you feed upon them? Create a character and a skill related to keeping them captive. We've got so many skills. <laughs> we have. Um. Hmm. Maybe they're our way in. Maybe it's not like... I'm not thinking it's like a sort of um, actual, you know, shove them in the brig kind of captor. I think it's more of a sort of like we've blackmailed someone. Um, mm. And we're, us we're using okay. them to... I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to put blackmailing as a skill. Yeah, that's good. And then we want a new mortal. Um, and we're going to call, hold on one sec, one sec, I'm, I want Sal Sal's family tree, because <laughs> <laughs> he's the best, um, yeah, we want Sal Ong, let's go for that, interesting. Son of dangerous yet ambitious warlord. Perhaps my way in. Uh, okay. Better hope this Dynasty Warriors 9 mod is accurate, wheels. <laughs> Uh, right. Okay. Um, I'm going to start writing now. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I'm going to have a look at chat and see what they're saying. 
Um, excuse me. Um, David Comey misread what you typed as son of a warthog. Now that would be an interesting turn. Um, mm. Johnny is thinking about adding he is very handsome. You can see it on his face. I managed to, to, to resist the temptation at least this time. What else everyone saying? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Oh, Cookie Cat94 says it's 3 a.m. and my hands have given up, so I'm headed to the land of sleep. That is absolutely fair enough. I didn't realize it was that late for you. Um, sweet dreams. Um, may they be uh, filled with uh, sexy vampires. Teresa S says, Can I point out that you missed my super chat? Yes, I did actually try and read it out uh, when we were lagging. Well, I did read it out, but obviously it didn't show up. Um, but um, I believe. Teresa S. said uh, that as somebody with uh, long hair also, um, they can provide a third shout out for the Tangled teaser, which is, excuse me, mm, um, a very good brush for, um, well, teasing out the tangles in your hair. Mine has peaches on it, so it looks like it's covered in butts. We didn't miss that Civ chat. It's just we weren't streaming at the time. So sorry for that. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I'm also just going to make... Tal as a character because you can't stop me. <laughs> Other hairbrushes are available, as Ronnie says. Yes, this is accurate. Okay, are you ready for me to start yes. reading? You are uh, reading 7.2. 7.2, yeah. My introduction to these peoples, though not helped along by struggles in communication, is like muscle memory at this point. You find someone weak who sits in a position of power and you put them in a position too difficult to ignore. This, how would I pronounce that? Mm. How do uh, I pronounce this name? Sal, which is kind of the TS uh, that you make with a... Uh... Yeah. This Sal Sal yeah. seems the winning horse in the turmoil. His son will make a very charming introduction for me. I'm sure. Josh Bunton says, lol, Johnny looks like he needs a thousand year nap. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, fair. Okay, then. All right. Now we're really in the business. <laughs> mm. So, uh, it's your time to roll, Johnny. All right, here we're we go. 20 minutes left, so we better hope that something terrible happens to us so we can die. <laughs> so, well, I mean, the way my rolls have been going... Uh, oh, that's uh, five. That's five. Yeah. Puts us up to 37. We're really pushing our way through now. Oh, mm -hmm. God. Any Little has done a super chat saying, just got home from work. How stressed is Johnny from wheels slash chat winding him up? Doing all right today, actually. Everyone seems to be mostly behaving. Hey, Johnny. Things uh -oh. fall to I dust. Hold that thought, Emmy. <laughs> oh. just, I was like, we better get some terrible prompts in the first one we get. Things oh, fall no. to dust. <laughs> Lose a resource for which you have no corresponding memory. Do not, <coughs> pardon me, do not create a new experience for this prompt. It simply happens as you stare in silence. Read okay. that again. Things fall to dust. Lose a resource for which you have no corresponding memory. Do not create a new experience for this prompt. It simply happens as you stare in silence. Pretty morbid. I might give you another one after that, since you didn't actually write anything. No, no, no. That's that's fine. Uh, well, we don't have any resources, so I guess we're losing a skill. Okay. Should we lose profit of Dionysus? <laughs> Maybe yeah. somewhere off in the distance, um, someone is tearing down our once blood-drenched temple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go on, do another so. roll. Alright. That is two. two. Plus two. Some 39. Age has damaged your diary. Strike out three nouns from the memories in your diary. What? Starting That's starting amazing. from the oldest entry. 
If you have no diary, do this to the first three nouns in a memory of middling age. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I'm currently typing in a, a different journal, which is called the Thousand Year Slack Conversation. <laughs> uh, uh, right, okay. Middling age. So probably, I mean, the earliest one we have is... Uh, Probably Medea, I think, is the earliest one we have. Because we don't have a diary right now, do we? Oh, no, we do. No, we do. No. A small no. journal with a picture of a big himbo cat on the front. Of course we do. Okay. All right. So you have to strike out three go. nouns from the memories in your diary. Starting from the oldest entry, which is the Dread Pirate Hepatios. Okay. Where's where's the Dread Pirate Hepatios gone? Oh, it's from my yes. diary. Okay. And then we'll write a, uh, an experience based on how that happened. What happened to our lovely uh, Awaken of something? <laughs> oh, we, um, we just strike it out. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah. Didn't realize Control Z does not work on your stuff. Yeah. Depends whose name slash descriptors you want to lose, I guess. Why not? Let's lose a big oh. one. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't. We don't know don't. his name anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you turned right. up, I think we'd we'd be like, you, I've written about you. <laughs> yeah. Martin what Cox else? says, delete woman. So gaze of a young blank. Or delete gaze. Nah. I'd rather not um, delete gaze. I'll be honest. No, <laughs> as, that's as not one obviously. Of <laughs> Uh, no. I, mm. Who would be something? We don't know what we were trying to make yeah. her into. It's quite an interesting one, actually, to only delete parts of a memory. It's like, oh, what's the most interesting thing to forget? Yeah. Alrighty then. Have you got an idea for your experience? Um. Oh. Right. Needs to do an yeah, how was the well. memory? Uh, how was the diary damaged? Oh uh, yeah, we are once again running out of space. <laughs> we could probably move something to a diary. God, we are running out of space, aren't we? We could put uh, us arriving in Egypt into the diary. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine, right? Yeah. Wait, what? Where am I now? Wait, what? Oh, okay. I didn't click. That's why. <laughs> so six is clear yes. now. Uh, Okay. Oh God. Uh, Wheels, can you give me a valid point, please? It's all the wrong yeah, side. Yeah, no, I was making it the right side, and then you deleted it. <laughs> now, <laughs> right, wait, hold on. There you go. S. That's, it, that's your experience, folks. S. <laughs> so. So. <laughs> Fireworks? Ancient China had those, says Hannah Axelson. Um, Titan Uranus says, whereas arriving in Egypt sounds like uh, the title of a weirdly formal porno. Does it? I'm not sure it does, Titan Uranus. Um, 
all those people will turn up. We're going to be theotening the ever-living shiitake mushrooms out of that I know your face line. <laughs> okay. I... Hmm. Because, I mean, technically, according to our game, Cleopatra's still alive. Which is very interesting. It's very interesting. Well, although, to be fair, I do think Cleopatra... When was she alive? Let's find out. Uh, about 230 years before. <laughs> but that's fine. That's probably fine. Um, or at least she died 200, well, she died like 250 years before the repayments period kicked off. So she's probably dead, uh, unless this is an alternative timeline, which I think we've established it probably is. Yeah. You good? Uh, yes. Um. I walk home with a dish of fresh dates, sticky and cloying. It's all I can do not to devour them myself before gifting them to Sappho. I return to find her with my diary open in her lap. She looks at me through years. Is that tears or is that through years? Tears. <laughs> God damn it. She looks at me through tears. And it is as, and it is as though she no longer recognizes me. Uh. Where the salt water has pooled, my account is blurred and occluded. The dates lie beside me now. Untouched. Shivers. Oh. <laughs> Orcs. Oh. Orcs. Let's have some orcs. <laughs> We're going one ahead for what is most probably the last prompt of the stream. Okay. How do you conceal yourself while you sleep? What steps have you taken for protection? Check a skill and create a resource. Then create a mortal servant character, if you like. <laughs> <laughs> if you fancy it. Okay, then. Ha <laughs> ha, Hannah Axelson says, Johnny, how dare you give me feelings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on a sec. Because I think... <laughs> Burrito yourself in tapestries. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one second. Because I think... Mm -hmm. We probably don't want to do three parts of this. Because we're, we're going to have to cover some other games at some point. We will at some point, uh, yes. I'm afraid we, we won't be able to do a part three. So I think... Why don't we make our servant Abraham Van Helsing... <laughs> Bet you never knew he was from ancient China, did you? No. Nope. I'm going to find a prompt. Although Anthony dying. Hopkins' accent could easily have been, for, you know, an attempt at that <laughs> as much as it was Dutch. <laughs> yeah, I'm Van Helsing. Now take off your coat. Right. Oh, it takes yeah. a while for you to just straight up die. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding us a fitting prompt for us to die to. Okay. Dan Keller says, what the hell have you done while I've been gone? So much, Dan. So much. Oh, What okay. am I going to do after this stream? Make a fish pie, Dan. I think, That's my plan for the evening. I think it seems like we're going to have quite a sad ending, so... <laughs> really? Um, so here's our final prompt, Johnny. Okay. Your body finally wears out. You oh, cannot man. carry out your feeding patterns. What happens? The game is over. Mm. I think Sappho leaves um, knowing that she'll never know the the once is Adora um, that she used to love. And she's maybe been fooling herself all this time. And with that realisation she leaves and we kind of leave the only thing keeping us going. That's... That is A, fitting, and B, very touching. Mm. Um, but excuse me, Ronnie, you've never had fish pie? <laughs> what 
do you mean you've never had a fish pie? It's fish not, pie is it's not, not like that. A pastry. Not that common. It's not like it's a. Sh- it's basically a shepherd's like, pie of the sea. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not like a pastry case. It's like I'm going to make a white sauce. I'm going to throw in some fish, and then cover it in mashed potato and bake it in the oven. <laughs> I just. I don't think it's as common as you think it is. I just sort of. Fish pie is not something that gets cooked all that much, I don't think. Lemon Avalanche has never had a fish pie, but maybe it's because I'm American, they say. Will it be shaped like a fish? No, but I will, when I'm using a fork to rough up the mash, I'll do a little fish into it. I always go like <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. I like that. So, Alan Stewart asks, well, is this fish pie you speak yeah, of? Yeah, with cheese just... on top, purple llama, absolutely. But there's no need to apologise, Ronnie. I just, I think Wheels is, is right. I, I, I did assume that fish pie was more common than... Um, and then I thought, I'll tweet a picture of the fish pie later. <laughs> Lowly says, and on that note, <laughs> all in caps. Um, fish pie is good. Wow. I do like fish pie a lot. Rasmus, NEM says, have the British ever considered just eating things without pies? No. How dare yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a pie, oh, really. Well. It's just mash on top of Yeah, it's it's a, it's a pie in the loosest sense of the word. Okay. Emma Benton says, well, now I have to try one if I ever get to come back to the UK. If I, l- listen, Emma, if I ever get to come back to the US, I will make you a fish pie and post it. I'm sure it'll be <laughs> good for eating when it arrives. Um, Alice Needham is right. It is an excuse to eat lots of potato. Sarcastic Attacker is British and has never had a fish pie. I'm not saying that this is like a rite of passage. It's just it's a tasty way to eat fish and potatoes really um hannah axelson says we started with pirates and ended with pie rates <laughs> like that mr blue deck made a fish pie yesterday shout out to mr blue deck one step ahead of me wealth chapman gandhi has had some absolutely fantastic fish pies ah martin martin cox asks what potatoes i'll be using great question martin <laughs> King Edwards or Maris Pipers or going posh. Um, I'll be using the the lovely flowery Maris Piper because it makes brilliant mash. King Edwards I like a lot, but they're better for roast potatoes, I think. I am curious as to what constitutes a more posh potato than a Maris Piper. When I was growing up, it was like, if we got Maris Pipers, it was like, ooh, Maris Pipers. You know? Do you put some cheese in the mash? I probably will, actually. I've got just a bit of port salut left, and I was thinking about slamming that in the mash. So there you go. Lowly's saying, kill the stream. <laughs> Don't see why. Jersey Royals are the posh potato. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, no, keep the fish pie talk going. Yeah, we've got four minutes left. Uh, how are you getting on there, Wheels? I'm almost done. Okay, because I can keep talking about fish pie all day. <laughs> TJ Stitch says pie breaker. Um, uh, uh, so we went front range vampire love story to fish pie and potato chat. Yes, yes we did. Alan Stewart says, I feel like 90% of British cooking is an excuse to eat potatoes with meat of some kind. <laughs> Correct. Michael Hayden, I think Michael Hayden is calling me a potato snob. Says, wow, potato snob, Yukon, russet, gold, red, all you need. Like, all potatoes are good. That's all I'm saying. Ah, Lowly's wants us to kill the stream because uh, we're making her too hungry by talking about fish pie. Sorry. Um, Normative says, if you're just joining us, we're playing thousand year old fish pie. I thought it was funny. He's probably just concentrating on writing. I wouldn't Sorry, like. yeah. Michelle Mendez has never had a fish pie either. Um, Eleanor Smith asks, most importantly, what will Watson have for dinner? She will be having... Well, she'll be having kibble and a bit of wet food. The wet food will be have some fish okay. in it, so in fairness. Johnny. Do you make Watson a pie? We could probably make Watson <laughs> Johnny, a little yeah. pie. Watson can have little a pie as a Johnny. treat. Should we make Watson a tiny pie? Okay, we'll make Watson a Jeremy. tiny pie. You're done, uh, right? I want you to read this out in the most dramatic reading you've done over the whole four-hour period that we've been playing this game. Okay. All right. I need, on, I need to put some background music on for myself. I'm going to do this. <laughs> uh, 
sad violin songs. Yes, that'll do. Not even kidding, that's what came yeah, out. Yeah, of course it did. That's the that's the okay. one that everyone knows. Yeah. Hang on, waiting for it to kick in. The nights are long after she leaves me. And I, for the first time in what feels like millennia, I feel that I miss the rising of the sun. One day I return to my chambers and find the dates I brought Sappho, the day of our falling out. They have rotten beyond recognition. So who am I to talk? The feeding becomes harder every day as the very sinew of my body refuses to heed my commands. As I write this, my joints are seizing. My heart, long stagnant, screams in agony. I... You died. <laughs> oh, my God. Chats, chats, um, well, chats, it's a mix, it's a mixed bag. We've got, well, this is upsetting, crying emojis, you made me cry wheels, I didn't come here to have deep, complex feelings, this hurts, dramatique, and then vampire died from fun. <laughs> So, yeah, a lot of Fs. So, yeah, well, that was that was desperately sad. Ending, well, it's, to, um, vampires never have happy endings, do they? Two thousand? No, they don't. Eleanor Smith misses the pie talk. I miss the pie talk too. <laughs> well, if you died while writing, you wouldn't write arg. <laughs> <laughs> Ash F says immediate grief spike, please. <laughs> oh dear. Turns out a thousand-year-old fish pie does not keep hearts, says Donald Trump. <laughs> no, no. Well, yeah. So that was um, that was a two-parter of us playing thousand-year-old vampire. Hopefully, you enjoyed it um, as much as I'm sure our character, who eventually forgot their own name, enjoyed the fleeting moments of happiness in their long and tragic life. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> thanks very much for watching everybody this has been dice breaker here on youtube the channel that you're already watching if you uh Indeed. if you don't mind you would love it if you hit the subscribe button and click that bell below so that you get notified every time we put a new video live and we've also got a oh, fantastic yeah. amount are you doing the rap thing again <laughs> no Sorry, and we've also got a lovely a lot of content on dicebreaker.com oh John, sorry. Oh God, Johnny. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, but yeah, we got loads more stuff coming up. Uh, for example, on the weekend there will be a fresh episode of uh, Dungeon Breaker. Um, Wheels has a lovely list going live this mm -hmm. weekend. Uh, Titan Uranus <gasps> has done uh, a very timely super chat. Say, is Johnny allowed to talk about his Sea of Th Thieves charity stream? Yes. Um, I believe I am. Uh, this weekend on Saturday from 12 p.m. GMT until 8 p.m. GMT, that's a whole eight hours, I will be streaming uh, in benefit of Mind, the mental health charity based in the UK. Um, I'm going to be streaming four hours of Hades. So if you want things to stay sort of... Uh, horny and Greek. A classical <laughs> and B. Yeah, yeah, horny and Greek. Uh, I'll be starting with a brand new save file of that. And then after four hours, we are going to transfer over into sea of thieves um and get very very silly i have already made a bingo card for everyone i am dropping a link into the chat to the just giving page which should uh link you to uh the channel if not it's youtube.com forward slash johnny chiadini uh so you can subscribe there to get notifications uh, as to when i'm going live emmy little has done a super chat which is a fish followed by a pie emoji <laughs> um I'm going to go make a fish pie now. But yes, Saturday I will be streaming for eight hours uh, to raise money for Mind. Um, already we've we've raised over two grand. So um, I'm really, yeah, really looking forward to it. And I'm very, very humbled. So um, uh, yeah, uh, that will be fun. But in the meantime, uh, keep, keep it Dicebreaker, everyone. Keep it, di keep it locked on <laughs> Dicebreaker.com. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. And of course, have a lovely day. Lovelier than the characters Bye. we played anyway. Bye. Mm -hmm.